Three years ago, I had an idea. My idea was I wanted to make a 3D animated movie about bugs in a post-apocalyptic world. The idea sounded crazy, and it still is, mainly because I don't have millions of dollars to fund the project. All I had was the idea and the motivation. I thought to myself, how hard could it be? Really, how hard could it be? Just like climbing Mount Everest, to get to the top, you have to get to certain checkpoints. For me, this meant making a script, doing concept art, character designs, 3D models, and I knew as long as I continued to get to these checkpoints, I would eventually get to the top. Now, I want to introduce you all to Cyrus. Cyrus is a praying mantis who's trying to take over the world. He's also manipulating other people to get to his own personal goals. He's the bad guy, so I wanted to share a bad guy with you. <laughs> Now, I want to show you guys also a clip, and you'll kind of see my little project work in progress. So here we go. Gus is a fleet, a young bug looking for a leg up in life. Do you have permit to sell here? It's a giant mob of cockroaches. When we're gone, the only thing left will be the roaches. Where are the humans? Take it! Take it! I'm not even an end. You expect me to save your people? Please, please help us. Bugs. <laughs> so, that was a lot of fun. We made about two and a half thousand storyboards. This allowed me to see about a quarter of the movie. Again, a little step to get to the top. Now, the transition from 2D to 3D is made possible by a few different software. Software like Maya, ZBrush, or SolidWorks. Maya is the most popular software out there, and even Pixar and DreamWorks all use it. If you've seen a 3D animated movie, it most likely used Maya. ZBrush is a sculpting program that a lot of character artists use to sculpt characters. And SolidWorks is a CAD program that a lot of engineers use to go ahead and uh, make their product because they can easily specify dimensions in this program. There's also a free 3D program that anybody here can get. This is called Blender, so after the TED X talk, anybody can download it for free and play with it. This allows you to 3D model, animate, and texture anything you want. Now, what we did is we took Cyrus from the 2D concept art and used ZBrush to sculpt them. This is Cyrus fully sculpted. Once we were happy with this, we took him to the next stage, which was taking him into Maya. In Maya, we were able to set up proper lighting and texturing and get to the final look of the character itself. This was going to be the new standard of all of the characters in the movie. Now, once you get a 3D model to this point, you can make him do all kinds of stuff. You can make him dance, you can make him talk, you can even 3D print him. So, I immediately printed a foot, okay? <laughs> Now, the way this happened was, at the time, I did not have my own 3D printer. So I was just surfing the internet, and one day, I uh, noticed that the UPS store all around the US were getting 3D printers. I couldn't believe it. I called the UPS store. I said, is this the UPS store? They're like, yes, and I was like, Um, do you guys have a 3D printer there? They're like, yes. I said, I'll be right there. So I hung up the phone, I cut off Cyrus's foot, and then I immediately got there. I literally busted through the door, almost knocked somebody down, and I was like, I'm here, I'm here. I want to show you what I want to 3D print. So I gave him my flash drive, and I was like, here you go. Here's what I want to print. And it was a foot. It was like, what? <laughs> Now... Uh, Eventually, I kept coming back 
over and over and over again to a point where I was like, I should just get my own 3D printer. So I did. I got my own 3D printer. Now, this is not any kind of fancy 3D printer. There's much better ones like an Ulti Maker or MakerBot. But this is your average Joe 3D printer that anybody here can get. So eventually what I did was I uh, 3D printed Cyrus completely. So this is Cyrus fully 3D printed. And then afterwards, I painted him. I also brought him to show you guys. So this is... So this is Cyrus fully 3D printed. 3D printing allowed me to bring an idea from 2D to 3D to an actual physical object. Now, some of you may be thinking, this is great, but I'm not interested in making a movie or climbing Mount Everest. But I do have an idea for a product. With 3D printing, you're able to print all kinds of stuff. And when I say all kinds of stuff, here are your possibilities, and there's even more. You can go to some extremes like printing out a whole entire car. Who here likes going to get the groceries back and forth? Not me. You can print this little handle and uh, get them all at once. You can print out a little fishing rod. This little fishing rod could be in your pocket or in your car. You can fish anytime you want. If you have a cat, you can print cat armor. And my personal favorite one, you can also print a 3D printer. It's like the 3D printer is having a baby, okay? <laughs> now, all of these things that you see here, okay, uh, are all available to download for free on a website called Thingiverse. Thingiverse has thousands and thousands of objects that anybody can go ahead and download. And to me, this is like going to a store and just picking stuff and putting in your shopping cart and just walking out. It's like you don't have to pay for anything. Now, you must be thinking to yourself, there's got to be a catch. What's the catch? I can't just 3D print all of these things. And the catch is spool. Now, spool is, if you think about your regular printer at home, you have ink. Well, the 3D printer needs spool, and all it is is plastic that the printer uses, and it heats it up, and layer by layer, you're able to make your object a reality. Now, there's also resources out there where you can learn about this technology more, such as lynda.com. I've personally watched hundreds of tutorials on how to use different software. And if anybody here has a hard time falling asleep, just watch some of these tutorials. <laughs> There's also uh, CSI. Just like we saw in an earlier presentation, you can go to CSI and use their own 3D printers. They'll teach you the whole process, and it's great. Some, of, some people like to go hands-on approach. Now, some of you may not even want to deal with designing it and 3D printing it. You might just be interested in making your product a reality. So you can collaborate with local 3D artists, engineers, to make that a possibility. I believe that everybody here in this audience has an idea, and it's up to you to decide if you want to bring it to life. And 3D printing can go ahead and do that. Just like Shiloh LaBeouf said once, <laughs> don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it. Thank you very much. <laughs>